Okay, so this is my cheapo Chinese power supply that I use on my bench. So I believe it's uh, 0 to 30 volts at up to 10 amps. And the fan has been noisy basically since the day I received this thing. It does quiet up after a few moments. So I want to see if I can find a replacement fan, a good quality, maybe a ball bearing fan to put back in this unit. So let me power this thing up and show you what it does. Okay, so I realize you can't see very much right now, but let me turn this thing on. So I have it set at 13.8 volts and I think the current's fairly low. So I'm going to actually short the leads together. It'll go into current limiting. And then you can hear what the fan sounds like. So if I give it just a moment, it'll actually quiet down. Or it's going to make a liar out of me. It's getting ready. Any day now. All right, there it goes. So you actually hear the fan sound now, which is what it should sound like. So I think I'm just going to pull this thing apart and see if I can find maybe a part number for the fan and try to find a better quality replacement fan for it. Okay, so there is the internal view of the unit. Just a basic switch mode power supply. A couple of diodes on that side and probably a couple of FETs over here on this side. So yeah, let's go ahead and just pull the fan out of this and see if I can get some part numbers off of it. Oh, it's a 24 volt fan made in China. Nothing but the best. <laughs> There's really no part numbers on it whatsoever. Oh, look at that. All right, well, let's get this thing unplugged here. Oh, that was simple. Okay, let's <laughs> get the cover off and see if I can maybe get it apart and oil it. Who knows? So normally, if you just peel this label back, if I can get access to it. I wonder if they forgot to put a bearing in it. It's oiled really well. Wow. So let's try to get that little retaining clip off of there and see what's actually in here. All right, well, I managed to knock the clip off. Little retaining ring. So now we can actually pull the fan blades apart. I mean, it's oiled well, but it looks like it's missing a bearing. I'm just going to go ahead and try to find a suitable 24 volt replacement fan. Because remember how much play this thing had it. It like had room for a spare bearing. So yeah. Did they just forget to put the bearing in it? Who knows? Well, let me see what I can find. So let's go ahead and find out what the mounting locations are, what the size is. 72 millimeters, I'd say. The total width of the fan is 80 millimeters. So let me go search for an 80 millimeter, 24 volt fan. All right, so I went ahead and added some oil to the bushing. I'm just thinking they never got oil actually down to the bushing. They just dribbled it on to the retaining ring and it never made it to the bushing. So check this out. So it's off right now. I'm going to draw a full 10 amps of current. It's going to cause the fan to come on. And the fan sounds perfectly fine. 
So release it. The fan's going to coast nicely to a stop and then do the little wigwag that it does when it stops. Absolutely perfect. I am going to go ahead and order a replacement fan, probably a spare just to be safe. Normally I always order a extra part whenever I'm doing any kind of repair just so I have a spare in stock. So maybe one day you'll see this fan get replaced on NorCal 715. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you're so inclined to, have a great day. If you really want a bad day, go ahead and have that one too. Bye-bye.